This is David Wu of the Fringe Podcast here with Lance Reddick, who plays Philip Broyles. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. All right. Uh, I've heard you sing on TV before, and you have an amazing voice. Uh, you sing me sing on TV? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's on YouTube and stuff. Oh, that's right. I did. Yeah. <laughs> they put me on the spot in that Good Morning right. New York. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, right. Sing, yeah. It's all over the place now. Uh, do you ever sing on the set? Okay. The Fringe? Uh, I may sing, you know, occasionally to myself, but it's not like I go on set and I sing. I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what has been your favorite episode uh, so far? Well, well, it's funny because I've got two favorite episodes for completely different reasons. Uh, my favorite episode to do was episode seven. Where, In which uh, we meet Mr. Jones. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and my, but my favorite episode to watch was episode 11. Well, uh, ironically, we get the... Uh, the that's the Mr. Jones comes back. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the biggest similarity uh, in the way Lost and Fringe are produced? Wow. Um, in terms of how the two shows are produced, I'm not even sure uh, how to because in some ways, except for kind of the kind of following they have, in some ways they're such different shows. Um, and. The other thing is that because Fringe is in its first season, it's still kind of working out a lot of kinks in terms of production, whereas uh, work loss is like a well-oiled machine. So my experience as an actor uh, is very different on, on both. But it's also very different because my, my function is so different because I'm a series regular on Fringe. And, you know, I'm a recurring guest member on Lost. Is there any one Fringe cast member who breaks down laughing during filming more than anybody else? Wow. Quite frankly, if I would say there's somebody who breaks down laughing more than anybody else, um, it would be me. <laughs> very well. That's interesting because you're usually kind of the uh, very uh, focused uh, character on there, and then, so you tend to yeah. I don't know what it is, but some reason, whenever I work, and it happens especially when I work with Anna, with Kirk, or with John. Uh, the first couple of takes, well, but Anna and Kirk, I don't know what it is. It's, I just start, I just start smiling, and laughing when we when we go through it. With John, it's always, well, first of all, whenever I'm going to see John, he's always got these non sequiturs that are is really hysterical, and very often they'll be, um, it's either about food or sex. <laughs> and the other thing is that lately it seems like it's starting to be consistent, where he'll have something to me, like he's trying to bond the boys. And so uh, it'll take me a few takes to stop laughing. I see. <laughs> That's very interesting. Um, uh, do you have any say in the development of your character? Um, well, well, that's a tricky question. I mean, in terms, of, do I have any say in the development of my character? Um, I'll say this: I have more say than I have ever had before. In, t in terms of uh, input, is listened to. That must feel very great as an actor. You're able to, able to give that kind of input to the writing. Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, for me, it's a, like actually a little weird because I've never, you know, no, my my most prominent experiences in television have been with David Simon and Tom Fontana. And these those two guys who, you know, this is the story. This is what you're doing. And you do what we write. <laughs> um, and so... And I always trusted because of who they are. There's no, there's no question about. Oh, I think my character should do that, <laughs> do this. So, um, you know, having someone actually come and say, you know, any thoughts that you have about the character, tell me, was like, what? Oh, that's a different. I have to readjust my brain. <laughs> What do you think is the most over-asked question you have received from the press uh, regarding Philip Broyles? Wow. Yeah, you know, I don't feel like uh, any question is necessarily over-asked, but I think the question that I'm most asked is, is he a good guy or a bad guy? Yes. Yeah. That was on our list, but I decided not to ask it because I thought it cliche. <laughs> to be quite honest. Okay, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome.